I suppose the main catalyst would have to have been in 2003. My galactic family turned up and uh, picked me up and took me for a ride and ended up in a, in a really large, large ship away from you know, our solar system. And they facilitated an experience where I could come out of my body and with my consciousness, my spirit, just my spirit consciousness, my greater essence, take a journey through the universe and take a journey even to the very edges of the universe and got a chance to see beyond the universe. As I was traveling up, I just saw a whole cosmic paradigm. And then it just started shrinking and shrinking and shrinking into the galaxy. And then you got billions and billions of galaxies all just shrinking, 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 shrinking you know, a tiny vortex of light. This whole cosmic paradigm we were in ended up being a tiny little vortex of light. And one little spin of that, which happens in an instant on that level of consciousness, is eons upon eons upon eons of time. Absolutely incredible. And so I travelled up through the dimensions of our universe and I got to the boundaries of our universe. Yes, our universe is a finite existence. It's a finite expression. It's in the name. Universe. One verse. One expression of life. And I had this incredible exchange with a being that is this universe, the creator of this universe, the being that people call God. And then we both projected our attention and awareness outside this universe. And that's what I saw outside this universe. This is what I call the omniverse. And each one of those dots is a universe. But if you wanna reconnect with your true sovereignty, with your true essence, then see how this feels, what I'm about to share with you. How about that? Every single one of those dots out there is you. Each one of those dots. I'm saying that you have your own universe and you are equal with God, the creator of this universe, on the same level of existence. And I've got my universe, you've got your universe, and we all express ourselves in a different way, right? So, therefore, the construct of each one of our universe is different. And then this universe decided to express itself in the construct that we call light. And we went, wow, now that's cool. That is really cool. Can I have some of that? I want me some of that. I want to learn how to be like that. That is really cool. And this is what we do. We go inside one another and we learn how to be like one another. That's the amazing thing. We are all universes. I've managed to hold on to the basic elements of that experience, which is enough to crack the, I would say, the, the hard set concepts that are keeping us in this, um, in this frame of mind. That, first of all, that we're all alone in the universe. And secondly, that we're very inferior in some sort of way. Just begin to try and imagine how many planetary systems we're talking about in a single galaxy. It's phenomenal. The moment you begin to contemplate the vastness of the cosmos, instantly any person with any logic at all, any rationality at all, will tell you straight away, there is no possible way we could be alone in all of that. Our Journey Home, the documentary, now available on DVD and download.